Hi, Beatty. Our music classes today uh, and for this week are all about improvisation. Um, for the grade three, fours to grade eights, we're uh, looking at the blue scale and specifically how the blue scale is used in improvisation uh, in the blues and also in jazz too. Uh, it's a great starting off point. It's a good jumping off point for uh, jazz improvisation. For the kindergartens to grade two threes, um, there are lots of ways that we can improvise that we already know about. There are lots of patterns that we can use to improvise that we're already familiar with. And one of those patterns that I've used as an example previously um, in music class is this one. What's this song? <laughs> heart and soul for um so there was a pop song recently that had that um that had that song in it this is a song that um if you have a keyboard or a piano in your house or if you've fooled around on a keyboard or a piano um in school or at other people's houses you'll often end up playing this with a friend one person will play this part and one person will play this part It's lasted a long time. It's a song that I think is from the, I'm not sure, I think it's from the 40s maybe or 50s. I have to check it out. But um, it's a song that's been around for a long time. And, uh, and that pattern and this little song has become sort of a part of what we do at the piano. So the cool thing about this song is that the foundation of it, this part, is a pattern called one six, four, five. And it's a pattern um, that's based on four chords, the chord that begins on the first note of the scale, the chord that begins on the sixth or la, the chord that begins on the fourth or fa, and fa, and the chord that begins on the fifth. So, um, so it's a really, really common um, pattern. And a lot of different songwriters use this pattern to make their songs. Um, so what's cool about this is that we can do whatever we want, really. Whenever we have a kind of a simple pattern, as we start to know more about music and rhythm, we can do different things with it, right? We can go... improvisation there were some points that sounded really great there were some points that were a little iffy but that's okay you know we we're doing a little bit of playing around with this pattern so I'm gonna play this pattern a few times through maybe you want to sing along with it I'm gonna play it I'm gonna play about 30 seconds maybe of this pattern and see if you can sing along a little tune here we go you ready a one a two a one, two, here we go. Did you sing along? Did you feel like, oh, what do I do? I don't even know. You can
can do whatever you like. You could choose this note and just sing this note. Da 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 you could choose this note. You could go da 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 back to your first note da 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 and you can hear it sometimes when you hit a note that you're like oh ba da 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 how does that sound? You remember when I tuned my guitar? Is it in tune or is it out of tune? Da da not in tune, still fun, if I want to, but have a listen. Listen for what feels right, play with it, play it a few times. See what you come up with and, uh, and have some fun. Okay, bye guys, have a great week.